Hello, welcome back to another episode of comic book selling tips. In the previous video, I talked about how important good photos, good pictures are. They are your best allies to sell the books, okay? And I talked about how you know, if you don't know how to grade, having good photos are critical. Even if you know how to grade, they are critical, but it's better to have good photos than bad personal estimation of what the grades can be. That being said, the reality is you cannot get away from at least knowing how to grade a little. You don't have to be perfect nobody is perfect even the professional graders okay but you have to be at least competent why why pricing if you don't know how to grade at least competently how do you know what to put as far as the price on the book right okay so go back to that very first video where i talk about you know if you don't know how to grade having good photos okay let's say if a book is in a realm of very fine okay but you're not sure you're not confident on your grading skills for sure you don't want to put near mint in your listing because all that does is chase away a lot of potential buyer when they saw the pictures and see that the book is nowhere near near mint If the book is in the realm of very fine, but you're not sure, at least you think it's at least in a fine range or better, then you have a good starting point to price the book, right? You have various options. You can have a starting bid for an auction at something at least around the fine range. And we will go, I will go into other videos talking about how to price in auction and all that stuff but for now when it comes down to pricing regardless if it's an auction or buy it now if you have some grading skills at least you're in the realm of putting a price on your listing that is reasonable okay I'm not saying you know sometime a reasonable price doesn't mean that the book's gonna sell right let let address that issue down the road because well, you know this hobby is hard to explain to those that are not in it for a long time you know a lot of people just even the long time collector you know they have the overstreet price guide and they think the guide is something beyond what it is the guide okay so there's so many things to address when it comes to selling so hopefully I will address things clearly in future videos about the guide and the value but at the end of the day when it comes down to having the slightest minimal skills to grade it is needed you, you almost cannot get away from selling without having some level of grading even if it is minimal okay because how else would you put a price on anything don't you agree you know for sure if you have a book that is beautiful look like it's never read yes there are books that are never read never open but they're not near mint because they get dinged up in a corner. So you, you got to be able to at least look at something that's like near mint and at the minimum put like a very fine condition on the book, right? So my advice to all the new sellers out there is do everything that you can, everything that you can to hone up on your grading skills before you sell anything okay it's 
it's not an easy task. It's the tougher task than taking the pictures, taking the photos, right? I don't think anybody's gonna argue about that, but it's a must, okay? This is why, um, you know, I always talk about, it's so, it's so much easier to buy, it's so much harder to sell because, you know, when you buy, a lot of time, a lot of people, when they buy books, the emotion take over what they think the grade is, okay? They, <laughs> they see a book that they want, <clears throat> and even if the grading is off, even if the, the, the eyes are telling them that this book is not in the condition that the seller is saying, but the price is right, it's easy to make the decision, the decision to buy. But once you are in the selling side, Ooh, it's a lot tougher because when you're selling, you want the most money, right? And the most money is about the higher grade or the closer the grade is to the value of the book. So you just can't get away from learning how to grade, okay? Um, sure, can you, can you learn how to grade by buying the over street? price guy, that's a good starting point. It's nothing wrong with having the over street grading st uh, standard as a starting off point. But for those that are not familiar with the CGC standards or the CBCS standards or the PGX standards, they are slightly different. To keep it simple, to keep it short, they are slightly more lenient as far as the professional grading companies and the over street price guide. So if you want to go through the over street grading standards that are, they, they sell the books, okay? They are also in the price guide. If you have the price guide, you can look at the guideline in there, but you can also spend the money to buy the over street uh, grading book and do the best you can to hone your skills there but know that the professional grading company are usually more lenient in just about every grade level so if you grade strictly with the over street standards you'll likely undergrade a little bit could be a lot, depend on the grades, but at the minimum, you will undergrade a little, okay? So, and then there's plenty of resource that you can use. I'm not promoting that, you know, I have good grading tutorial, but there's a playlist on my channel on comic book grading tutorial. You can certainly go through that. I promote a heritage database for people to look at examples of thousands of books in all the grades. So there's a lot of resources everywhere for you to learn. It's up to you to put in the effort. Okay, so you know, even if you don't want to, there is ways. There's only there's one way to get around. I don't want to learn. What is that? Consign it to an auction house or a dealer that know how to grade and then pay them. Yeah? <laughs> My comic shop will gladly do that. Many dealers will gladly... There's, there's sellers on eBay that will gladly take 10% or whatever fee they charge if you consign your collection to them, okay? So there's a cost of skipping learning how to grade, okay? If you're willing to pay somebody 10%, for some people, that might be worth it, okay? I'm not saying that everybody have to learn to grade. Learning how to grade is not a must unless 
you don't want to pay somebody else. Whether you're paying CGC or you were paying my comic shop or some dealers or some auction house to grade the books for you. There is a cost. There is no skipping grading and cost nothing. Okay? It, it's, uh, it's a painful tip to have to give, but it is what it is. And, you know, I'm sure I've left out a few things here and there, but hopefully the message here is at the minimum, you have to decide if you want to learn how to grade a little bit or willing to give away part of the proceeds to other people. And before I go, the last thing, a lot of people that don't know how to grade can waste a lot of money sending books to CGC, okay? I have talked about this in other videos. There's a thousand, tens of thousands of slabs out there that are not worth the fee, the slamming fees, but people submit them for whatever reason. Some of them maybe to learn how to grade, I don't know. Or some of them because people thought it was higher grade because a lot of books, even copper or modern, are worth something if it's 9.8. Yes, I said it, 9.8. But if it's an 8.0 copper book, non-keys, yeah, you, you, you're gonna get something a lot less than the cost of slamming, okay? So keep that in mind. The cost of learning can be very high for some people. It's free here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.